All right, guys, so one of the biggest problems we've had with this motor since all the mods has been the insane vibration. Shims, we have some dowels and some true uh, what Burris racing studs that we're gonna put here on the head and in the side plate. You know, a lot of times it's not about making more power, it's just making that more, making more power uh, reliably. All right, so we're getting rid of the bolts and replacing them with studs. And that fits right inside the, uh, remember the dowels that we put in last time? So a little bit of Loctite here on the threads here. Just that. That'll help hold it. So this will help the vibration. It'll hold better and it's a little tight like that. So you're gonna double nut this thing. That's a common technique with this sort of thing. See that? Mounts right up. Much simpler system, huh? don't you think? should pull right off and it does one two uh, dowels are already in there those are the hollow one we're going to replace them with with solid dowels but there's another one here and another one here so we could put four hard dowels onto this thing this seems a millimeter it seems too big for these holes and too small for these holes let me show you all the source of all the vibration. You see this? You see that? That is what you call bad news. When you multiply that kind of energy times 6,000 RPM, that's massive loss of energy, that's massive uh, vibration, and it's being energy that's not being devoted towards spinning the propeller with shims, four shims very thin see how that works all right there is no play in that you see that we put all four shims on there there is no play in that right now so at the very least even though we weren't able to use any of the solid dowels the hollow dowels are still in there and you got the studs and we got the shims and we got the play out see there's you see there's just no play in that anymore. It's turning freely, but there's no play. And uh, it's really disappointing to know that this guy and this guy, there's essentially a space for dowels to go in, but there's nothing on the side plate. There's nothing here on the side plate to really give them enough space to hold and grab hold to. So I don't know if that's just an issue. I mean. Maybe that's why Arc Racing made the um, billet side plate, you know. You know, I won't be on the river till next week. I'm going to let all these bolts and stuff sit up over the weekend and maybe hit the river uh, Monday. All right. See ya.